Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel and we're going to take our first look at Franchise Hockey Manager 7 and it will be our 1970 the California Golden Seals Challenge to try to get them to the playoffs. We made a few moves. Again, I am not a hockey guru but I'm just enjoying the game and we're going to show you the new chalkboard and the crazy way I GM and coach the California Golden Seals, who were actually owned by Charlie Finley, the Oakland A's owner. Without any further ado, Franchise Hockey Manager 7 and the California Golden Seals Challenge. We're taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Penguins are 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. We are 0-4-2. Oh, At least we do have two points with two ties. The Rangers, and they have it made up as East and West divisions. The Rangers lead the East with eight points. Actually, they're tied with the Bruins. Both have eight points. The Rangers are 4-1. The Bruins are 3-0-2, oh, followed by the Maple Leafs. Uncle Ron Gardner's Montreal Canadiens, the Vancouver Canucks, the Detroit Red Wings, and the Buffalo Sabres. In the West Division, the Flyers lead with a 5-1 record in 10 points, followed by the Blackhawks, Penguins, North Stars, Blues, Kings, and yes, your beloved California Golden Seals. Let's go to the Golden Seals. This is our roster. Our goalies are not horrific. They're, not, they're actually, we play pretty defensive and play a hard-hitting game. At least I think I have it set up that way. So the goalies are not bad. We did trade two of our starters away because they came in out of shape. And they were whiners, so I traded them. And I got rid of someone else, I forgot. I did bring in three European players who two out of three are whiners, and I'm looking to move them also. We brought in this guy from... Sweden, Lennart Svisberg, and he's a right defenseman. We also brought in, at least this one's happy, Ulf Stenner. He's a left winger. And we spent a lot of money on this guy, Isa Peltonen, and he's from Finland. I don't know how many whiners we have on this team, but my God, if they don't get their freaking... Jersey numbers, they're all crybabies. Anyway, we'll show you our quick um, tactics. This is where you set up your tactics. And we're pretty much intense when it comes to attacking, aggressiveness, back checking, and pressure. I like them to hit. I want the tempo mid level passing. Eh, I don't really care about. And I want you to shoot the puck on the freaking net. And we play crash the boards, uh, crash the nets, excuse me, to try to knock it back in. And I think I have it set up to play pretty defensive. Let's go to the schedule. Um, when the regular season started, we got annihilated by Detroit 4-1. to one. We should have beat Chicago. We lost 5-4. to four. Then we have some off days. Boston beat us 4-2. to two. We had the Kings beat 2-1, to one, and then our goalie decided to go out behind the net when he didn't have to. <laughs> they knocked it into an empty net. Uh, we got, I thought Vancouver we were going to win that, but they kicked our butt 4-1. to one. And we had a 0-0 tie with St. Louis. So now we're going to take on Pittsburgh. The Penguins come to California to take on the Golden Seals. Then we'll have an off day and we'll get destroyed by the Rangers. So this is a big game with the Penguins. This is a winnable game. <laughs> I hope this team stinks. And again, hockey's not my sport. I just like uh, trying to do something with bad teams. Brad62 is here at the rink with us. Team building and storylines galore. Lots of fun. Yes. Oh, I'll show you something really cool, Brad. I yelled at the media because of the way I set up my uh, personality. It was pretty funny. Let me see. We have to go to mail. And then we'll get to the game and the chalkboard. The game plays pretty quick. With the chalkboard, my biggest complaint, it's a little choppy. 
and they don't have the names of the players. You just see the numbers. So let's go to the mail. It's not going to mail. All right, let's go back here. There we go. And let's go to the mail. Uh, why is this not moving? All right, here we go. All right, it's not going to let me go to the mail. Let's go to news then. Let's try news. Let's go news. Ah, here it is. News. October 7th. I'm uh, sorry, October 16th, 1970. California head coach Al Red Sox fan blasted the media today over what he considered to be a negative coverage of his team. How do you like them apples? You guys are really something. You know that? Al Red Sox fans shouted at reporters. All you want to do is place blame. Why can't you focus on what we're doing that's positive? Some of our guys are putting up great numbers this season, but you never talk about that. It's just a matter of getting everyone together on the same page, but you guys make your snide remarks. Isn't going to help us with, with that, is it? And Al Red Sox fan abruptly ended the press conference. I love it. I love it. Awesome sauce. So now we will go to the schedule. No, not the schedule. I'm sorry. Let's, is it the schedule? No. Actually, you can click on this, I believe. It's one of these. That's tactics. I'm still. It's the, the. I'm not used to the. I had it up. Before. Oh, here we go. Schedule. There we go. All right. You have to go under NHL. All right. So, Red Wings take on the Sabers again. We'll just sim those after. We're gonna play out. The Penguins versus the California Seals. We're looking for our first win. And we will hit play. We're going to show you the chalkboard. It's tough to call the game. Um, I play everyone 20 minutes. That seems to work the best. I don't know why. Our first line. Uh, Garrett. Up front, Garrett. Hampson. Ferguson. Our defensemen are... Vaden, Vadeneus and Zedsberg. Our second line, Peltonen, Surz, uh, Zura, Andrea, Howell, and Roberts are the defensemen. Third line, Sterner, Ingerfeld, Hickey, Matasusi, and Stackhouse. And then we have Featherstone here who gets absolutely no... I don't know why he's here. I wanted him... You know what? Let's give him some minutes here. Let's knock down... Uh, there. Though that's the whole line, I think. Or it should just switch those two guys off, I think. All right. Well, we'll do that. Let's go to... Both of our goalies are hot. And we're going to play... Uh... We're going to play Smith. We're going to play Smith. Smith's got that 4AA... 86 worthy. Mm. Worthy will start. We'll go with worthy. And then we'll hit continue. So in goal for the Penguins, Al Smith, Chris Worthy for the Golden Seals. Star players for the Penguins, Dean Prentice. He has two goals. In five games with two assists, four points. He's a negative four. Our star player is Carol Vadeneus. Six games, one goal, one assist, two points. Then you click play game. So here we go. We're going to show you the new chalkboard. 
Um, and we're looking to get our first win. So we're going to play game. What it does, it does not show the players' names. It shows the numbers. So what I'm going to do, I like to play it on fast, but I'm going to play it on normal speed to start off with so we can follow it a bit. And you click play. So they come out onto the ice. Let's just hit stop for a second. And so it's our first line. Fedberg, Ferguson, Hampson, Jarrett, and Vadinus. For Pittsburgh, Roop, Prentice, Watson, Pronovost, and Shook. And then we hit play. Seals have it. Oh, good pass. Oh, they lose the puck. Here comes Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh trying to get through center ice. They gain the zone. Pittsburgh up against the boards. Let's hit stop for a second. This is where I wish they would tell you. So Prentice has the puck for Pittsburgh. We got him shadowed. We got him cornered. Let's get that puck from him, boys. Someone get the puck from him, and we do. Good aggressive play. And here come the Golden Seals. Ferguson has the puck for the Seals. He's going two on one. Come on, someone go help him. Fiddling, he's diddling. Loses the puck. Pittsburgh comes back on the counterattack, trying to get through center ice. Pittsburgh gains the zone. Good passing by the Penguins. And good defense now by the Seals. Denying them again. Pittsburgh gains the zone. Shot blocked, and here comes the Seals with the puck is Sterner. Come on, Sterner. He loses the puck. Penguins get through center ice. Dump and chase now. The Seals will get there first. Svedberg with the puck. Good pass. Oh, they lose it. Sloppy play, but now they get it out of their zone. Past the red line come the Seals down the flank. Golden Seals pressing towards the net. Setting up the play. Shot blocked. And Pittsburgh... Coming back up ice as the Penguins denied. Now they gain shot on net save by Worthy. So the Penguins put the first shot on net. And we've played 16-04. Faceoff in the Seals zone. Seals win the faceoff. And they knock it down in the pen. This is going to be icing unless the Seals can get there. Nope, line change. So it's going to be icing, and it is. As the Golden Seals change lines, face off in California's zone. They drop the puck. Penguins win it, but the Seals take it away. Seals mount the attack. It's a slow, methodical attack by the Seals. They finally gain the blue line. Oh, now they're going to dump it in the corner. Puck goes out of play. Face off will be... In the Penguin zone, line changes for both. Actually, just outside the Penguin zone. Seals win it. Lose the puck again with some sloppy play. Come on, boys. Stop him at center ice. Dump and chase. Get there. Get there, number three. Seals have it. Oh, some good passes there. Carrying the puck for the Seals is Featherstone. Come on, Featherstone. Lay the tomahawk on him. And again, they lose the puck. Now they have to regroup. Again, they lose the puck. Penguins have it at center ice. They gain the Seals zone. Back and forth, give and go. Seals good defense. Up ice come the Seals with Vadinus. Let's see if he sends it to number seven. That's Ferguson on the flank. Penguins closing on him. He loses the puck. Good poke check there by the Penguins. More line changes for both teams. Carrying the puck for the Penguins is... Edistrand. Guarded tightly. Dump and chase. And that's going to go out of play. So the faceoff will be just outside. The Seals. Oh! Someone got booted from the faceoff circle. Penguins win the faceoff. Regroup at center ice. And they're going to play dump and chase. Seals will get there first. Outlet pass to Zerza. 
Zerza taking it up ice. Guarded tightly. Skating it almost all the way to the blue line. He gets in. He gains the zone, but now he loses it. Back come the Penguins on the attack with McDonald. McDonald looks to get a shot, but now, again, good defense by the Seals. But the Penguins regroup at center ice. They gain the zone. Shot blocked. Up ice come the Golden Seals. Dump and chase. Who's going to get there? The Penguins will get there first. Outlet pass. As the Penguins come up ice with Sather. More line changes. Sather will gain the blue line. Shot on net. Save by Worthy. Puck goes to the boards. They battle along the boards. The Penguins have it. Now, good play by the Seals. Up ice come the Seals. Good defense there. Peltonen. That's my finish guy. Put the puck in the back of the net, Peltonen. That's what we pay you the money for. Shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Issa Peltonen. Assisted by Joe Zerza and Doug Roberts. Oh, that's why we pay the Finn the big money. He puts it in the back of the net. Captain Carl's here. RF is here. Bears Den 007. Robbie Warburg. Hope all is well. Again, this game's tough to call, so I'll do my best. I'm just showing you the chalkboard. And maybe you'll see something. You'll see the Golden Seals might win again. Here's the other thing they don't have. Replay. I would have loved to see that over again. Let's go. To, there is no replay. How do you not have replay? You got to have replay. But the Seals are up 1-0. Face off center ice. And let's, we're going to speed it up a bit. Ooh, let's Seals have the puck. Hampson takes the pass. Hampson loses it. Up ice come the Penguins. And again, we're going to speed this up. I usually play on fast. So we'll just watch the animation. And I'll make my snide remarks. But we're up 1-0. So we're going to play a little faster. Shot on net. Saved by Worthy. And he covers it up. He covers it up. As I hope everyone's doing well. Face off in the seal zone. Seals win it. Oh, another quick shot by the Penguins. Oh, boy. It's frenetic. This is like watching Pong on crack. Puck goes out of play. Another face-off just outside the Penguins zone. Penguins win it. Up ice come the Penguins. Penguins save. A lot of traffic in front of that net. Good job by the Seals on defense. Seals driving. Oh, shot wide by the Seals. Again, the Seals put pressure on now. Puck goes out of play in the Seals zone. And we got 7.20 to play in the first period. Oh, it's going to be icing, actually. Seals control. Seals lose the puck. Up ice come the Penguins. Regroup at center ice. Good defense by the Seals. Shot on net. Saved by the Penguins. Seals again harassing the puck carrier. Look at that. There's good defense by my aggressive Seals. Seals drive again towards the net. Save. Yes! 2 nothing Seals! Gary Jarrett puts one past Smith. And it is 2-0 Seals. Assisted by Dick Matusi and Earl Ingerfeld. Ingerfield. 2-0 Seals. Unbelievable. We might get our first win. 4.45 left in the first period. Again, we're going to sim it on fast. Penguins trying to get something going here, but the Seals very aggressive as we play this ultra. Oh, we get another break here. Ah, sloppy play, sloppy play. Seals lose it. Back and forth they go under four minutes of play. Seals get it in the corner. Up ice come the Seals. Shot on it. Save. Seals putting those shots on it. Penguins come right back. They lose the puck. Shot saved by Worthy. Knocks it out. Seals. Playing very good defense. Shot. Save again. Up ice come the Seals. Oh, punch it in, boys. Oh, my God. Look at all that pressure around the net. They keep... Oh, is it? No. Oh, did we score? No. And that's the end of the first period. 
as they peppered Smith at the end. Good God Almighty. They just put shot after shot after shot. Glenn, you're correct. Glenn says it's like watching flies have sex. It's true. But that's the fast speed. So now we go to the second period. We're up 2 nothing, trying to get our first win here. Let's hit stop for a second. Go back to options. We'll go back to normal speed for a bit. And again, things I'd like to see them do. I wish they would add names and not numbers. I don't remember numbers. Um, that would be very helpful. Just more fun if you're calling the game. Whether you stream or not, you'd like to know who the hell has the puck. And unless it's number four or number seven for the Bruins, I don't know who the hell has the puck. Number four is Bobby Orr. Number seven, Phil Esposito. So we'll play on normal. Second period, we're up 2 nothing, And you can see Roberts, Hampson, Stackhouse, Jarrett, Vadinus on the ice for the California Golden Seals. For the Pittsburgh Penguins, who then had uh, the baby blue uniforms, Rupp, McCreary, Snell, Watson, and Boyer. In net is Smith for the Penguins. In net is Worthy. They've only had seven shots on net, the Penguins. Well, we've we've had seven. We put two back past Smith. Here we go. Oh, my God. Is this on slow or normal? So the Penguins have the puck. They lose the puck. They have to regroup. Everyone has to get out. Now they come back in. Penguins lose the puck. Come on. Golden Seals. Up ice come the Seals. Who's got the puck here? Shot! That's what I like. I like to see shots. Oh, Smith gets to it. And he knocks it out. And here come the Penguins on the counterattack. Gaining the blue line for the Penguins. But he lost the puck. Jared has it for the Seals. Jared being harassed. Jared stick handling. Jared loses the puck as they close in on it. Penguins have it, playing a little give and go. Oh, we intercepted it! Shot on that save by Smith. The Golden Seals are playing. Excellent. Dump and chase. We get to the puck. Seals. Give and go. Seals gain the blue line. Again, it's a lot of one-on-one -on -one the way I have it set up. Shot, missed, behind the net. Looks like a line change here for the Seals. Penguins have it. Nice passes there by the Penguins as they try to get past center ice. And now here come the Golden Seals in our golden zone of death. Seals get the puck. Knock it back out. There we go. Come on. Counter, boys. Counter, counter. Go, 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 go. Go. Ah, we lost the puck. Penguins. Trying to regroup. Oh, first penalty. High sticking. Two minute minor. Ken Schinkel. I think that's for the Penguins. It is. So we're going to be on the power play. We're going to be on the power play. And we're going to speed this up. So we're up 2 nothing. We're going to be on the power play. Let's see if we can get our third goal here. Face off in the Penguin zone. Ooh, we got a shot on net. Penguins have it, trying to clear, trying to kill time. We've got the puck again. Shot saved. Seals really playing a very frenetic fly like. Oh, I hate when we. Oh, a shorthanded shot. Come on, Seals. Uh oh, uh oh. What a save by Worthy there. We're at full strength now, both teams. Back and forth they go. Penguins with it. They lose the puck. <laughs> Save! Good job. We're the only. We blocked it. Good job. Come on, Seals. Shot on net. Worthy covers it up. 11.25 to play in the second period. Face off in the California zone. And another shot on net. Another save by Worthy. So Penguins coming back. Down by two. They try and put something past Worthy. Face off. One by the Penguins, and there it is. That one got past Worthy. Wally Boyer with the goal, assisted by Terry Ball and Ron Snell. God, that pisses me off.
It's 2-1, California. The chalkboard, Uncle Dave Gardner. Well, and guys, it's okay to say those jokes a couple of times in the chat. Now we can get away from those jokes. Funny the first two times, no longer funny. Uh, the chalkboard is very frenetic. Um, again, you can slow it down, but when you play on normal, it seems too slow. I'll show normal again. Again, I really wish they would add names. It's tough to call it. I'm just showing the game off. So I like to say hello to Philip Reynolds, Alan Griggy, Glenn Perot. Bears Den 007, Robbie Warburg, Uncle Dave Gardner, Log Acta, Live, RF, Captain Carl 8, and Brad 62. So here we go. We're down two to we're up two to one now. We're gonna play on normal. And again, basically what you do, if you're just joining us, I've already set the tactics. I have universal tactics. We're playing pretty much intense for attacking aggressiveness uh, back checking and pressure hitting we're hitting pretty good tempo mid-level passing mid-level I want shots on net I want shots on net so I like to shoot often and Uncle Dave Gardner says we're going to have them on digital dice oh these guys they need to add names they need to make this like the baseball game it's not a bad game, but, you know, so um, back to the game we go. And, again, we'll play it on normal for a bit, then we'll speed it up again. Normal's just too slow, and fast is a little too fast, but Penguins have it. And, see, if you want to know who has the puck, you have to hit stop. So getting the pass is Ferguson, number seven. Also, you can't see the number when the guy has the puck. So Ferguson has the puck. Oh, shoot! Oh, we can't put two shots by him. Oh, nuts. Penguins come up ice. Oh, we had golden opportunities there. Penguins regrouping at the red line. Seals playing tough defense. Shot saved by Worthy. Puck loose. Worthy passes it. Oh, my God. Thank God it's behind the net. Get that. Get that puck. Get the puck. Slam him. Up ice come the Seals. Ferguson with the puck. They're closing in on Ferguson. Ferguson makes a nifty move, gets by them. He's being harassed. Good. Oh, they lost it. Have to regroup. Shot on net. And it's a save. Smith holds it. So that's normal speed. Yeah, as Log Logacta Live says, ah, names, that would be most excellent. Absolutely. Remember to check out Log Acta Live's channel. It's a very nice channel. Philip Reynolds has a channel. Of course, Dave Gardner, Digital to Dice. Digital to Dice online shopping network, as I like to call it. I've purchased. I got a wonderful mug and some other stuff. Um, and, of course, his YouTube channel. And we have uh, other people here. So check them all out. And remember, be cordial in the chat. So we're going to speed it up again, though I had the bad luck when we sped it up. They scored a goal. So we're going to speed it up again um, to fast. And again, I'm just going to, we're going to watch along and see if my tactics work. It's tough to call the game without knowing the names. Oh, we got a decent shot on net there. 8.23 left in the second. Oh, another good shot on net saved by Smith. So far, we've had 15 shots on net. Smith saved 13. Penguins have had 14 shots on net. 7.54 left in the second period. Face off in the Penguins zone. Penguins have it. Up ice they come. They gain the blue line shot saved by Worthy. Here come the Seals. They lose it. Sloppy play. They lose it again. Penguins have it. Seals close in. Seals... Back and forth they go. Shot saved by Worthy. Worthy, he comes. Oh, why are you coming out of net so much? Terry Ball. 
has just tied it up for the Penguins. Why do you come out of Networthy all the time? You cost us the other game. It's two to two. Oh my God. Ugh. Two to two. Oh, let's show you the... Uh, he does that all the time. Both of my goalies do it. Here are the... St this is the stat... Um, so this is the game stats here. Shots fairly even. And then you go return to game. And then you go box score. I, I wish that you could... Um, so you, they'll show the scores by period. You could see the Seals. Isa Peltonen. He's the Finn that I signed. And then Gary Jarrett. And then the Penguins get two in the second period, Wally Boyer and Terry Ball. So that's the stat package. It's okay. I'd rather see the scoring up top uh, and then everything else, but that's the way they have it. They do it by period. All right, here we go. 5.43 left in the second period. Tie game. Come on, Golden Seals. Penguins have it again. Saved by Worthy. Penguins coming alive. Face off. In the California zone, a lot of action in front of the net and a two-minute minor hooking Brian Watson. And I think that is a Penguin. Yes, it is. We're going to be on the power play. We have the league's worst power play, by the way. Our power play absolutely sucks. So we're on the power play. Let's get a shot off. They're going to get a shot off shorthanded. They're controlling the puck. And they always it always happens. Seals never have. A, oh, come on! Go, 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 go! Shoot! Ah, oh, save. Under three to play. Power play is over in the second period. Excuse me. Good defense. A, save by Worthy. I'd like to see a speed somewhere between normal and fast. Because again, we'll show you normal one more time. If you just hello, Mr. Utah Mike, check out that wonderful channel, Sports Time Machine. We'll show you normal again if you just joined us. Again, we're just showing the game off. It's tough to really call this game. I do like the chalkboard, though. It's a lot of fun. So this is normal speed. 2-2, two, two, a minute 39 left. Face off in the seal zone. Seals have it. And you can see more of the, the passing and stuff with normal speed. Up ice comes the seals. They gain the blue line. Come on, do something. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Save by Smith. Penguins come back the other way. Seals getting back on defense. Penguins press the attack. Seals deny them. Now they, Oh, that was offsides, dude. Seals... Oh! Behind the net. I thought we scored. Line change here. 30 seconds left. Seals are going to get to it. Wrap around. Wrap around. Wrap around. Ah! Through the crease. Shoot. Oh, no. Blocked. And that's the end of the second period. So we can go to the stats. Both teams have two goals. Golden Seals have had two power plays. Come up with very few shots. We haven't committed any penalties. That's good. No one has any power play goals. No one has any shorthanded goals. Penguins have 20 shots. Seals have 17. Block shots. 11 for Pittsburgh. 7 for California. Shots missed. We have five. The Penguins have one. Face-offs won. They've won 12 compared to our nine. Face-offs, same thing. You just go the opposite with the face-offs lost. Giveaways, 11 to 6 in the favor of the Penguins. Takeaways, 6 to 1. We've taken the puck away six times, so we're doing that. And we're hitting a little more. And you go return. And then box score again. Here are your goals. We scored... Two in the first period with Isa Peltonen. That again, that's our Finnish player we picked up. And Gary Jarrett. And you can see the assists. And the Penguins came back with two in the second period, did not it at two. Wally Boyer and Terry Ball. And then it gives you your plus minuses down here. Or your your stats. Again, I'm not the hockey guru. So we go to the final period, and before we start, let's go to the chat. What are your thoughts with it? It's a fun game. Um, 
they have to add the names. They need uh, a speed between normal and fast. You know what I'm saying? Because normal is okay if you're playing offline or something. Actually, I play mostly on fast. Uh, the names would be good. That way you know who has who's on the ice. You could put the names just above somehow. Just like they do. Um, at, at, it would just be helpful, I think. More enjoy- Hello, D. Scott Howard. Hope all is well. Dave Garner says, my issue with the game is I'm lost. No idea what does what. Steeler fan 1933 AK Matt. Well, I just take I just use my common sense. If I have malcontent players, I trade them. I don't care. And I go out and I sign other players. Your tactics are set. You don't you don't control you set your tactics. Um that's not where you set your tactics, excuse me. You go to tactics. I do it globally. Um, what seems to work best with this team, again, I'm in, I'm not, I don't know anything really about hockey, um, but what seems to work best, I don't know if we'll be able to see it here. This is if you want to go line by line, I don't do that, I just do global. Uh, you can do player by player also, which is kind of cool, I don't do that either. You can have someone be the quarterback, I'm not quite sure how that would work with my crappy team. I'll show you after the game. Oh, lines. Is it lines? Yes. So what works pretty good for me is to go 20-20. Usually I have 20, but they put Featherstone. I let the uh, assistant coach set the lines. And you can set the lines. You just drag them over. It's actually not that bad. But I let the assistant coach do it. Featherstone, we really only play with three lines, but I think they really did that back in the 70s. So I give him seven minutes on the ice because they have him there. All right, back to the game. Third period, we'll play a little bit on normal, then speed it up. Uh, we're on normal, and let's hit play. As we start the third period, 2-2. Seals looking for the first win. This is a winnable game against the Penguins. Seals have it. They gain the Penguin zone. They lose the puck. Penguins come up ice. Penguins try to gain the Seal zone. They do. As, again, good harassing defense by the Seals. Penguins regroup. Seals have it. Come on. This is what we want. One-on-one. -on -one. Come on, little green guy. Get past that defender. Who's got the puck? Let's hit stop. Well, we don't have the puck anymore. We lost it. Hextall for the Penguins has the puck. That's the only way to know who has the puck. Again, we're stopping them at center ice. They're going to dump and chase. We'll win that battle. Getting to the puck for uh, California was Roberts. He plays it up. Back and forth. Penguins, uh, Seals regroup. Seals get through center ice. The puck handler is Howell. Howell being defended. Howell puts a shot on save by Smith. Penguins come away with it. Penguins on the counterattack. They try to get through center ice. Seals try to stop him. One on one here. Skating in for the Penguins. He loses it though. Again, Seals knock it out to center ice. Seals have the puck. Seals. It's Andrea with the puck, taking on the whole world. He gains the blue line. Come on, Andrea. And now we lose the puck. We have to regroup at center ice, but we still have the puck. Back and forth. Now again, we have to regroup. Seals. Serza with the puck, being highly guarded. Penguins take the puck away. Good checking there. Up ice come the Penguins. Prentice with it. Prentice being defended. Prentice, the best play shot wide of Worthy. Line change for the Penguins. So now we're going to speed it up a bit. So I'd like a speed somewhere between normal and fast. Normal's a little too slow. And fast, well, a little too fast. But we're going to go fast. So we show you some other things. 2-2 with 16.05 to play in the game. Come on, put it past Smith. As we, It's like Pong on crack. Follow the bouncing puck. Shot behind the net. Ooh, come on. And slashing Wally Boyer. Another power play for us. We got another power play opportunity. Let's hit stop for a second. Let's go to options. Not options. 
Let's go to tactics. Our power play is horrible. Uh, units. Global. Power play. Breakout swing. Lower chance of defenders getting hit during breakouts. Works best with wingers with good teamwork skills. My whole team sucks. Cut five back. Oh, dump in. Maybe we go dump in. No, I don't want to go dump in. Overload. Reduces chance of defensive takeaways. Increases chance for the team getting a good... In good position to take a shot. Yeah, I mean, that's the stuff I want. We'll stick with that. Hopefully we get a shot on net. Our power play sucks. We got a shot on net by the miracle of God. But again, the Penguins, up ice they come, shorthanded. Puts a shot on Worthy. 56 seconds left in the power play. Penguins controlling the puck. Another shorthanded shot. Another, another shorthanded shot. Holy cow. Power play is over. 12 minutes of play in the game. 2-2. Two -two. Dump and chase. For the Golden Seals, Seals have it. Again, they lose it. Sloppy play. Here come the Penguins. And my team plays hard, though, at least. At least the little green guys play hard. Penguins, we're under 10 to play. Saved by Worthy. 2-2 hockey game here, here in California. Come on, Golden Seals! Seals regrouping. And that's going to be icing, I think. Yes. As Watson... The other thing they could do down here, Dave... You see where it says icing? They could just give you a little play-by-play. -play. It's it's very minimal. I don't know if I can set it for more. I didn't see an option for that, but that would be kind of good too. So we have 838 to play in the hockey game. Face off in the penguin zone. Shot. Oh, we don't score. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, that's on us. That's on us. Is that on us? Let me look. No, it's on them! Yes! I don't even know all my team's names. Another power play opportunity for the Seals with 8.06 to play. Shot! Shot! Oh, we peppered Smith. We can't get it by him. Here come the Penguins shorthanded. You better not score. Seals back up ice on the power play. Behind the net. Ah, opportunities lost here. 33 seconds left on the power play. Saved by Worthy. Seals, full strength, both teams. California has control. Ferguson moves into the offensive zone. Offsides, a little too quick, a little too quick. Five forty to play, 2-2 two -two hockey game. Seals looking for the first victory. We've tied two. Just don't lose, just don't lose. Let's get the point. Did we? Oh, what a save by Smith. Yeah, I'd like to see a replays. I would like to see replays in this game. I'd like to see a little better play-by-play -play at the bottom. Maybe we'll find a setting. I didn't see it. I'd like to see names instead of... Uh, the numbers are fine, but there's got to be names. Has to be names. I have no clue who has the puck for either team. You have to hit stop. Like, anytime there's a... St you can either click stop, and then it brings up... You can see... The highlighted players are, you can see like 4, 6, 10, 17, and 35. They're on the ice right now for the Seals. For the Penguins, 7, 9, 12, 18, and 25. And then if you see like Smith, whoever has the puck, it's, it's maroon or red, however you want to call that color. But I want to see names. I want to see names. I'd like to see... The speed somewhere between normal and fast would be a good speed, in my opinion. 422. Face off. Here come the Penguins. Oh, my God. Don't lose this game at the end. Penguins. Good. Oh, saved by Worthy. Don't come out of net too far, Worthy. Saved by Smith. And he covers up the puck. 253 to play in the game. We're looking to at least get a point. Oh, we pepper the net again. We can't score. That's icing. No icing. Oh, saved by Worthy. Up ice. Come on, Seals. Oh, wide of the net. Wide of the net. Seals had a chance there. Under two to play. Oh, my God. Frenetic back and forth. Under a minute. Don't let them score, for God's sakes. Last game. Oh, wide. We shot wide. Yes! Oh, my God. We scored! 
Unbelievable wraparound! We're gonna win! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Dick Matusi assisted by Hampson, three to two seals, unfreaking believable. Seals 21 seconds away. Yeah, we'll check uh, play detail options. Like, see if you go to, uh, let me just close this. See, if you go to options, nothing there. Uh, we'll probably have to go when the game's over. So we will look for that. That's a good point, Uncle Dave Gardner. All right. We got to hold on for 21 seconds. Face off. 10, 9, 8. We win! The Seals win! Hallelujah! 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 Yes! We get our first win! All righty. Let's go to the box score. Game winning goal at 1940. Only 20 seconds left in the third period. 20 seconds left in the game. Dick Matusi, his first of the year, assisted by Hampson and Sterner. And that's the game winning goal. Another good effort by our goaltenders. Let's go look at our goaltenders. Um, Worthy. Saved 26 out of 28 shots. And we get our first win. We get our first win. Awesome sauce. Yes. Game has a lot of potential. I still like Action PC better. But you can do a lot of fun things in this game too. Different games scratch different itches. So we win. The goals were scored by, again, that's my favorite stat, goals. Isa Peltonen, that was his third of the season. And the assist goes to Joe Zura, I think, and Doug Roberts. And then Garrett Jarrett got his first, assisted by Dick Matusi and Earl Ingerfeld, Ingerfield. Penguins, Wally Boyer got his first, assisted by Terry Ball and Ron Snell, second assist of the season. And then Terry Ball got his first, unassisted. And the game-winning goal with 20 seconds left in the game, Dick Matusi, assisted by Hampson. And Ulf Sterner, another European player we picked up. We picked up three European players. We got rid of three crybabies. And at least one of our European players is not a crybaby. Uh, Robbie Warburg says you should check out the internet. Those are a pain in the ass. You can't, it, it, you have to sim until you get there. Again, there should be a setting if you want to play that, that you can jump to that stuff. You can't do it. And then the, well, let's get out of this. Let's return and end the game. We win, thank God, three to two in a thriller. Let's go to continue. Uh, Again, a little more clunky than out of the ballpark baseball. I'm more of a baseball guy, and I played out of the ballpark for many years. This I like the best so far, just because it's a chalkboard. Oh, and they made it easier to change players too. So let's go to let's file save first. Save. Uh, save current game. There we go. We don't want to lose our win. Now let's go back to NHL schedule. Um, let's play today. We can actually view this game. I mean, we're not going to, but you could view the games. Let's just play. Um, see, they don't give you an option just to play. Or... Was today the 25th? This today's the 23rd. Uh, I want to just finish. Let's hit continue. We have two guys on the injured list. Gary Croto. 
or just one guy, Gary Croto. We're gonna keep him on. We're gonna keep him on the injured list, though. He's still day to day. Uh, let's go back to schedule and see what happened with those other games. Let's go previous day. All right, so Buffalo beat the Red Wings four to three, and Vancouver's with a touchdown over the St. Louis Blues seven to four. Now let's go next day. We don't play that day. All right, now let's go to options. See, they don't set up options. Let's go here. Uh, again, this there's no there's no option for the play-by-play -play here. I'm not seeing it. You have game settings, fog of war, show home, analysis sim day-by-day. -day. Face gen settings, I could care less. Okay, so that's not there. Let's go world. Select a tournament. Again, if you select this, you have to wait till it comes around. You can't even quick sim to it. If you just want to play the national teams, you can't even just... I asked them. I was. I watched one of their streams. Hello, Chris Anderson. Hope all is well. Brad62. Al, show a player card. Okay. Let's show a player card. I don't know how to show a player card. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Rosters. Rosters. Uh, let's go to my Finland dude who's always on... Is he happy finally? No. he's. I gave him a big contract, too. My God, I'm paying him $100,000. He does score goals, though. He's happy with the contract, but he's isolated. I mean, go have a beer with them. It doesn't say how you make them unisolated. I, like, you can click here. Action. It doesn't say go talk to him or something, you know. Then I've tried to appoint people captains. He's not. I don't know. Maybe the maybe the uh, assistant appointed him a captain. He's still, but he's unhappy because he's isolated. The new team. He doesn't know anybody. Sure likes the money though. He took the money. I gave him exactly what he wanted. So this is a player's card. Here are the ratings. Again, very similar to out of the ballpark. Blue being the best, then light blue, green, so on and so forth. You get to red, not bueno. Then you have scouting. I really don't pay attention to that. Contract. We pay him a lot of money. Season stats. So he's played six games, and he's got three goals and assists. He's got four points. You get the game-by-game -game split. I had to rest him for a few games because he got really tired. So... Anyway, I just want to show the game a bit. It is fun. It's still pricey. Um, but I had a Steam card, so I bought it. And career stats. That's for this. Real stats. He actually never played in the NHL. So, Oh, the other cool thing I like doing, because I like to wheel and deal. Let's go... So that's the player card. I believe that's what you wanted to see. I like to go to transactions. You can't get any Russian players. They won't sign. You can get... Any Eastern Europeans will not sign. You can get Swedish players. Obviously Canadians, Americans, Germans. So what you basically do is you look at the stars. And again, you see if you can afford them. And if they're Russians, forget about it. You ain't getting them. Who's on the trading block? You can see who's on the trading block. I don't like trading for people. There's no one here I really want. They all stink. Waivers, just like in, no one's on waivers. Free agents, again, we just looked there. Upcoming free agents. I just want to get through this year. Let's go to standings. And we're no longer in last place. The Kings are. We now have four points. We're now one, four, and two. How do you do? And you know what? We're looking look at that. We can get the third place pretty fast with another win. Who's our next game? Who is our next game? That's the question. Is it a winnable game? Oh no, it's the Rangers. They're gonna kill us. The Rangers are gonna kill us. 
schedule. So we won 3-2 to two with 20 seconds left in the game. We have the Rangers next. I'll probably rest my better players. Rangers are probably going to hammer us. Let's go back to standings. Where are the Rangers? Yeah, I mean, they're in first place. So we got the Rangers next. So there you have it. Hockey, franchise hockey manager seven. Captain Carl, out of the ballpark, 21 is absolutely fabulous. And it's on sale for $4 on Steam or even on their site. Out of the ballpark is on sale for $5. I think it's $4.99. Out of the Ballpark 21, the newest version. Now, another new version comes out in February, but my God, for $5, you got to pounce on that. Out of the Ballpark's fabulous. Every season for $5. <laughs> D. Scott Howard, getting closer to what I'm looking for in a hockey game. Have to hope they keep upgrading the chalkboard graphics. Yes, D. Scott. Yes. They, they they have to do that. This is better, though. I do like it. And again, I'm not a big hockey person. I bought the game because of the chalkboard. Um, so we won. I keep saying that because I'm happy that we won with the California Seals. We have the Rangers next. I don't think we're going to win that game. Let's go back real quick, then we'll call it a street. If you have any more questions, ask them. I'll try to answer Yep, five dollars, Chris, on Steam. On Steam right now, four ninety nine. Chris, go to Steam, look it up. It's four ninety nine. Out of the ballpark, not the hockey game. Out of the ballpark, baseball twenty one. It's four ninety nine. It's the best game on the market for bang for your buck. And you can play as played. You can play as played. You can play at as played. You don't have to do any of the GM stuff. You can play as played. And even if you play as played, you can tweak your lineups. If you want to say, well, I don't want that guy to bat third. I want him to bat seventh. But yeah, out of the ballpark, 21. Absolutely fabulous game. Again, I like that. I like uh, Strat Baseball. I like Action PC. I love all the Action PC games. But yeah, for four ninety nine, jump on it. Chris Anderson says, I have a question. Who is your handsomest co-worker? That would be you, Christopher Anderson. That's why we named the scoreboard after you, my friend. All right. And again, Robbie, I wish with the international tournaments, like you have to click on, like I can say, because I was in their um, live chat, and they were nice. They answered stuff. It took them a while, but they answered it. Um. I think they get more Facebook viewers than YouTube viewers, and I was watching on YouTube. So if you go to World, you go select a tournament. You have to take control of a national team. So like, say if I wanted Italy. I click on Italy. I take control of Italy. And then when stuff... So now... It's very cumbersome. They, they, they sent me... I actually sent them a message through Steam also that they replied to. So now you want to play World... And we'll we'll say there's no Olympic Games in seventy. Um, let's look at rosters. We have no players. There's no schedule yet, so you just have to wait. Um, and again, there's there's no option to add players. They said there is. Where? I should be able to create a national team anytime you want. I even did 1960 because I wanted to sort of play the Olympics. That would be fun, the 1960 Olympics. But anyway, a lot of potential with this game. Uh, let's go back to my NH. Let's go back to my Golden Eagle, Golden Seals. So there we have it. And again, our highest paid players. Well, he's a second. He's a third highest paid player. And you can see the stamina. So he's at 87. I'm going to probably rest the guys at 80. Definitely 79. I like to do click on that. and So I'm going to rest Hampson, Serza, Sterner. Get, well, we got a few days. We'll see. 
But I don't think we're going to beat the Rangers. Let's go back to the schedule. Uh, I don't want to do that. Let's go to the schedule. I don't want the world schedule. I want our schedule. Schedule, there we go. Again, very cumbersome. Over here, you could click on the uh, rosters. Okay, here we go. Schedule. So we have the Rangers. That's a, We're not going to win. Buffalo's a winnable game. St. Louis, we tied. So I, th I want to say our next three games, we possibly can win this one and hang tough with Buffalo. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. So you can just hover on the team, and they're two, four. Yeah, so Buffalo has a losing record. St. Louis has a losing record. The Rangers are in first place. I like that. That's pretty neat. You hover over them. You get their, their team stats real quick. So I think we can be competitive in two out of our next three games. The Rangers, they're going to kill us. I might rest players. So that is it. As Dave Gardner says, I found it to be a difficult game. I think they can make this a lot easier. They really can. And if you're having them on, they got to make it easier. They've made it a little better. Like, if you go to rosters, you can just say, like, say if I don't want to dress my crybaby Europeans. I click here, and I say replace, and I click on the player. So that's easier to me. They also, you can have your AI set up stuff, but if you do that, then you have to go to your lines. And you have to have them reset here. Then tactics. You can set your tactics here. I have to fool around with my power play a little more. Our power play stinks. Um, I have the best. They have the best players on the power play. I just have to switch up my tactics, I think, on the power play. So these are your tactics. You can pull your goalie fast, normal, so on and so forth. You can trade. You can shop players. A lot of potential. A lot of potential. But we won, and that's all that matters. And we've won an hour with the stream. So thank you very much. Oh, RF, OT, OTP is easy. It's easy. Everyone complains they don't understand. It's an easy game. People get overwhelmed by the numbers. Just look at the numbers you need to look at. It's easy. It's an easy game. There's a lot of stuff, but it's easy. Just ignore the stuff you don't want to do. Let the, let the automatic thing do it. As D. Scott Howard likes strat hockey the best. That's cool. I like Action PC the best. I like Action PC hockey. Brad says, these are not simple replay games. If you have some motivation, you can learn the game pretty quick. Yeah, you got you to gotta like it. If you don't like it, that's cool too. It's not for you. Not every game's for everyone. I tried it. I like it a bit. I'm not going to stream it a lot. It's very difficult to stream. The visuals are there. It's just they have to come up with um they gotta improve you gotta put they gotta improve the chalkboard a little more hello patch how you doing my friend thank you for taking on the golden seals and not mismanaging my canadians oh i'll mismanage your canadians <laughs> no i have the golden seals and again let's just hey we got our first win look at our standings we'll leave it with this i'm not in last place anymore the kings are <laughs> i gotta win we beat Pittsburgh 3 to 2. We scored the game-winning goal with 20 seconds left. So, uh, but I think out of the ballpark 21 is a very good game and you, it's $5. It's 4.99 right now on sale for till January 5th. If you're thinking about buying it, buy it now for 4.99, you know? As Dave Gardner says, oh, yes, we can tank the Habs. Yes, we can. I will trade every good player if I want. 
But I like to, hopefully I do get a crack at mismanaging the Italian national hockey team. Uh, oh, let me show you one more thing. Oh, transactions. Can I just look at my trans? I want to show you what I did. Um, oh, I got to go back to the seals. Transactions, transactions. Transaction log. Okay. The Providence Reds are my farm team. I, I don't bring anyone up. I let the computer do that. Who did I get rid of? Who were my crybabies? They came in out of shape. They were my better player, two of my better players, and I got rid of them. I didn't care. Who did we trade? Uh, it's not going to show it. Oh, here it is, right here. Duh. We traded. This guy, Eamon, and we to the Bruins, and we got Tannehill. I don't think and Tannehill is playing with the Providence Reds right now. And then we traded to the Rangers, La Frimboise, and we got um, Leif, uh, Leif, Leif Lay. I don't know where he's playing. I think he's hurt. Is he with the Providence team? Anyway, those were the two players we traded. They came in out of shape, and they were malcontents, and I got rid of them. One more fun thing before we leave, because I love looking at it. I think it's very funny. If you go to news, training. You can set training, too. So, like, I had Worthy. I'll switch off, and I'll put it on Smith now. I'm trying to toughen up my European players. Mental training, physical training. Because they're this guy's gonna be my best player right here, this 23-year-old. And he's got three goals. I have to rest him a bit and don't, but he's he's unhappy, and I don't know how to make him happy. Oh, where is it? Let's go. Schedule history trade-off. Staff training. Finances. Oh, Team Home. Let's go here. Team Home. Team Chemistry. Not bad. Not bad. We're in the yellow. Could be better. Um, pretty much everyone's happy. Oh, he's happy now. He's pretty much happy. That's good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go here. Why will it not let me click on this? The mail. I want to click on the mail. News. Okay, that's how we have to do it. This is my favorite thing so far in the game. Al Red Sox fan angry at local media over coverage. California coverage. California head coach Al Red Sox fan blasted the media today over what he considered to be negative coverage of his team. You guys are really something. You know that? Al Red Sox fan shouted at reporters. All you want to do is place blame. Why can't you focus on what we're doing that's positive? Some of our guys are putting up great numbers this season, but you never talk about that. It's just a matter of getting everyone together on the same page. But you guys making your snide remarks isn't going to help us with that, is it? Then Al Red Sox fan abruptly dropped the mic and walked off the stage. I love that. That's kind of fun. And then we have our... Oh, here, here, are, here, are, here are our... Is it here are our... <laughs> trades... Uh, I just got rid of these guys because they were malcontents. I didn't, and I got sort of. I mean, we traded away a 37 year old for a 20, Don Tannehill. And he's 21 years old, so I took him. And this other guy, we traded. He's 20, but again, he came in out of shape. He's not even, he's in Minnesota, he's in the minors. Lafrey's on our roster. I wonder if he's on the injured list. He has two assists. Oh, no, he's playing. He's playing. So he's helped out. I think that was a decent trade. The other thing is, look, sometimes the photos don't show up, the fake photos. Like, see, this one shows up. That one doesn't. But there you have it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed our little look at Franchise, manage, franchise Hockey Manager 7. 
Out of the Ballpark 21 is on sale right now for just under $5. You get every season for $5. The Set your ratings 1 through 10. 1 being horrible, 10 being the best. It's very... it's. People, I go, oh, my guy doesn't pitch well. Are you pitching? How are you pitching? Are you just pitching? If you just, if you just keep clicking pitch, you got to look at the ratings. If the guy has good control, you want to pitch around some of the better hitters. Make them chase, maybe. If they have a good eye, they might walk. They might swing it in the dirt, knock it in the dirt. I did a couple of tutorials on my the way I play it, the strategy I play. I could do another one. So, Anyway, thank you very much, Health and Happiness. Hope you everyone had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year coming up. Stay safe, be smart. God bless, you know it's coming. The Seals win their first game. Let's look one more time. We're not in last place. This could be the last time. <laughs> as we could go to last place quite quickly. We have surpassed the Kings as we get our first win over the Penguins. 3-2. to two. We scored a goal with 20 seconds left. That was freaking awesome. You know what's coming, folks. Peace!